Hello and welcome to episode 14 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Distant Worlds Universe as the Ex-Human Authority. And um, in the last episode, we basically end all our wars. Um, we end the world of this empire by insisting that they become our uh, uh, subjugated empire. We end the world of this empire by just um, uh, asking them to give us money. So, uh, we have a fleet coming up here. I think believe that's the sixth fleet. Actually, no, we're coming back home. That's the um, sixth fleet coming back home. And we plan to invade this planet here uh, because it has something that I. Oh, because that um, somebody is building these uh, criminal network and things and we don't want that to um, to come to fruition so let's take a look through at our fleet our first fleet is down here oh, if we zoom to it we can first fleet is okay, so the first fleet is automated so it just go around and, and do things the second fleet is refueling here before going up here to attack. That's excellent. The third fleet is just staying here and defending this system. The fourth fleet we don't have. The fifth fleet is low on fuel somewhere. Oh, the fifth fleet is uh, over here protecting our new uh, colony uh, uh, in this system. And we are attacking this uh, pirate base. Okay. And it's low on fuel because uh, we are still in the process of building mining bases and things here. Uh, really, we are trying to build mining bases here, and we need to go and destroy this as well. So I'll move the fleet here again, because last time I believe that we moved the fleet over there and then our uh, colony here got attacked, but the spaceport was able to defend itself, so it wasn't uh, that big a deal, but still um, it was a little scary there for a second. We're also building these mining stations around the area so that they uh, will be able to help as well uh, with their fighters and such. Let's go back out to the galaxy map. Um, our sixth fleet is going back to repair. I think we lost about 10 ships there fighting around that colony, just staying and fighting around that colony. The seventh fleet is just not going to do anything um, because it's meant strictly for uh, engaging the, uh, the silver mist, which we also took care of by um, using our fighters. Let's just tell the review. The 8th Fleet should go and repair. The 9th Fleet has no mission. And where is it? Oh, it's up here. We were preparing to um, deal with these guys. So the 9th Fleet, now that there's few. Let's go ahead and attack these uh, pirate base here. Okay. This insect E7. E7. E7 is down here. It's actually near our uh, area of control. Six seven E seven so that's in here. That's actually in our home planet. That's interesting. Let's take a look at that. And we we have four intel the system, so the, the cruiser if it was here. 
is no longer here, or we have found it, or something like that. Um, that's our 9th fleet. Do we have a 10th fleet? No, those are all our fleets. We have quite a bit of money. So I would like to keep that in the bank because we spent it very quickly. And we have constructor going over to build gas mining and, and such. Oh, we certainly find uh, find a ship. Oh, and it was a trap. Kaboom! Let's take a look at this galaxy map. Now uh, the pirate bases. We have one here. This one here. That is new. Did not realize there's one here. This one here, that's where we are going to attack. This one here, I forgot that this one here. I keep forgetting about that one. Um, so, knowing that, uh, when the fifth fleet is finished, oh, no, I'm thinking of a different uh, game, but when the sixth fleet is done, we'll go use it to deal with these things. First fleet is. Review. Okay, apparently there's another cruiser in our home system, so... Okay, so this one is not a, a trap. So let's look at the design of this ship. It's also used hydrogen. So let's go ahead and add it to the 8 hydrogen fleet. much for this agent. Um, we uh, basically just send him or her on a suicide mission and uh, she, she did not come back. So that is okay. Um, she had, had very terrible stats and um, basically she was demoralizing. And um, so they warn us and give us money. That's uh, that's excellent. Let's go back to the uh, zoom out view. That's excellent. Where is this place? This is here. And this in our space. Wow. That's definitely worth colonizing because we get 50% um, of weapon research. Now what I want to do is look at the colony ships and see where they've been constructed from. Okay, so all these guys have been constructed from this planet here, Tom Erden. And it's over here. It will take a long time for this pl little planet to um, construct these. Actually it's not bad. We have half a billion people here. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Sixth fleet is still going back. The fifth fleet is over here. Right, and we are, uh, that's why we need to be here, um, because we need to protect these guys from um, being uh, attacked. And few is always a necessity, because our fleet cannot operate without few. looks like this uh, construction ship has everything we need. 
this poor mining station is not going to last, I don't think. And we have a fleet here. Is it a first fleet? Yes. Okay, they are re responding, so that's fine. If that's the case, then the mining station will last. Okay, tolerant. Tolerant is not a good um, trade for for um, for intelligent agents, but that's okay because we we use her offensively and not sending uh, keeping her back, so that's fine. So now let's take a look and see where this is. Show me first. No, no, it's way over here. We don't want to. We don't want to, to deal with the, that quite yet. Let's go back to our fifth fleet here. Oh, something else got blown up. Okay, quantum from the Morch Moklash technolo technocracy. So let's go ahead and send her back out to get some more of that. This is an upgrade to a reactor. So let's do that. This gas mining station should be built fairly quickly. Uh, this, I guess this is one of our. Um, uh, they captured one of our ships. I don't know why this one is coming here too basically suicide okay excellent more resources the better there we go this is going to get destroyed okay that's the 8th fleet let's keep the 8th fleet down here So it looks like the spaceport is now operational. Not quite. It's almost, but not quite. It's operational enough to uh, be shown on the map, but not fully built. Should be soon, unless we are low in resource. No, we're good. Here, though, we are short. On some resources. And it's interesting that we are building a. Oh, that's the energy research. I thought that was the defensive base. Let's go back to the zoom out view. station is well enough and it's by itself to um, take care of that one little escort which is good. The first fleet is automated second and we finished gem sequence optimization. Okay. And we'll queue quite a few things up so let's not worry about that too much. Over here we have a bunch of things queued up as well, and here we don't. So let's see what we should research here. Um, fence troop transport. I would like to do that because that brings um, the two transport, the two modules that we have to 320 instead of um, currently is at 260, and uh, that's just a waste. So let's bump the long range scanner up as well. 
Now the other thing I don't, um, I'm tempted to do, and I might actually do, let's look at our income. Um, the pi private sector cost them 67k to maintain, and they have a cash flow of 10 times that. Okay, so let's go ahead and update the design of the gas mining station. This is still a Mark 9. I'll call it Ref B. Again, this is a throwback to Larry Monty, who used this um, this kind of naming scheme. And what I want to do here is add a long range scanner to this guy. And the uh, and some of these extra sensor as well. And reason to have the uh, basic proximity array is to allow us to see where the enemy ship's coming from or running to. And from there we can guess as to where their bases are. Actually, let's look, let's look at just the same bases. All design. So I'm looking at the um, not state basis, private basis. Looking at the Mark 9 and Mark 9 Ref B. So this is the Mark 9. Minimum is 2100. So we only add a tiny bit um, to it. Okay, so that's not bad at all. Non obsolete. Actually, it's non obsolete. Pick all designs. I'll go on. Well, I won't obsolete these because if I obsolete these, uh, they'll try to be retrofitted, which is probably not a bad idea. We'll redesign them if we um, run into them. So we'll retrofit that fleet to be a little bit more useful. Okay, now that we have that, let's go to all our mining bases. All the gas mining station, which we have quite a few. Except the uh, ones that are not complete. This one. This one. This one. We'll retrofit those into the Rev B. And then I'll just go to the seven fleet and tell it to go retro retrofit. That's not what I want to do. Wait, the seventh fleet. Oh, I didn't realize they were up there. I thought they were down here still. That's fine. Uh, so we do have a mining station here. why they want to those to uh, colonize this one this a terrible colonies never mind see if we have any resort location to build we don't there we go now we have more scanner coming online okay we have re finished researching quote unquote uh, not researching, uh, steal, stealing this. Um, not even finished, we just stole a piece of it. So let's steal some more piece of it. And then we have a new research guy.
Now, V0418 research facility. I'm not even sure where that is. So let's go and find out where our is a high tech facility that's over there. Go shift. I'm in the wrong. Um, selecting the wrong thing. Select ship. Build a ship. So here we have just bonus to high tech research. We have better um, station for some of the other guys. So let's move our researchers around. This one is great as weapon research. I will need to go around and rename all these um, stations. Excuse me one second because as a glance it's very difficult to see which station is which so we have this one here it's an energy research station called e-research being built new Kodak is a also an energy a lot of people have very um, innovative ways of, uh, of naming these station weapon range and things like that um, e research but I uh, am not very creative in that uh, this is actually an H research on e research this is also an H research this is an H research This is a weapon research. Okay. Now this is strange. So. Oh. Okay. No, not as strange. Because this is um, planet here is eleven percent bonus to weapon research. Okay. I was confused because I was looking at a, a different one. So high tech wise, sex this one and go to it. So this one here on the Katamar system has twenty six percent energy research. This one here has 18%. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to maximize um, our research output. And the way that it works is the highest one is the one that counts. So 30% bonus. Okay. I will actually rename all, all these guys as well again we'll call it an e-research 30 research station and select go to this is a 26 I believe this one is a e research 18. Okay. This one is a high tech research. So, except build a ship. And we 
we are in this area here with a 5%. Okay. And why don't we build a um, resort base here? Oh, because um, it's not in our system. Never mind. So DC 69 something is a 5%. Not a very good um, place. Select go to. Okay. This is a nineteen percent. This one select go to. So in our system, this is 29%. Best one so far. We only have one weapon research facility, and it is a 11%. Okay, so let's name that as well. As I was saying before, um, the reason to do this is because the bonus counts uh, uh, from the highest uh, scientist plus the highest station. So this one is weapon research, so he's going to be there. That's great. This one is great at weapon research as well with some energy. This one is... <laughs> So he's the only one with high-tech research. So go ahead and send him to the high-tech location. H research 19. H research 29. Um, and I only do this for the regular uh, scientists. If we have one that is, let's say, uh, ultra genius, then I would definitely uh, stick him uh, on our main spaceport and keep him there. Because he will give us like a 20% boost or something like that. So we send this guy to the energy research. So we have a nice energy research station somewhere 26, 30, I believe that's the guy. Okay. So we should have a, a little bit of everything going on back out and now I completely forgot uh, what we're doing okay so our base is uh, being upgraded is it enough to handle all these um, ships it might in fact I think it will Okay. Build new advanced medical complex, and is that a wonder? I wonder. Advanced medical complex. Okay. So let's go to our colonies, and I'll still build it here in our home system. We can. And right now we only tax two planets uh, for our income. So our main planet and the one that we, the home world that we took from uh, over here. Uh, eventually uh, we'll tax these guys a little bit more once they uh, max out the, the, oh, these guys are maxed out so let's go ahead and, and tax them. 40% seems like a good number. They're still very 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 happy. These guys are still growing so we're not going to touch them at all. These guys are being rated still. And now we just 
reminded that uh, our recording is reaching the 30 minutes mark. So we'll, we'll need to put a cut in here soon. But let's watch this um, this fight and see how our spaceport perform. And I do believe that our spaceport will do just fine. In fact, we'll probably capture this uh, ship here. Look at that, 500 attackers on, on that lower ship. So, we will we'll be able to capture him, no problem. We are under attack here by one single ship. And I was saying that we need to take care of this base when our 6th fleet is repaired. It's not quite repaired. Um, 7th fleet is going back to retrofit 8th fleet is just these two ships hanging out around there 9th fleet is going to attack up here let's see if they are even close oh, they're, they're close to getting there so the 2nd fleet should be refueled also Okay. so what I want to do is go ahead and attack this planet from there. Nine fleet is coming in. Let's take a look at how this work. And we have a large base here, I believe. Yes. And it does not have any kind of ship defending it. Well, that ship um, sort of coming in now, but before it, um, when we just came in, there's no ships, so all our fighter would just be tearing it apart from the, the distance. Now, a missile as well. We have quite better range, I believe, than the spaceport. We can look at it. Range 520. Our ship have a range of 810. So we completely outrange um, completely outrange the base, and as such, we will just annihilate it from a distance without. it being able to um, do much and interestingly I just saw this we have met the ex-human <laughs> another ex-human authority that is interesting did thou call me revolt? I'm confused. There are two different ex human. We are the ex human. I'm very confused. There's no other ex human. Um, here that I can see. These are all pirates. That was really interesting. I have to look at it again just to see. Um, yeah, there we go. It's our own flag. That that was very strange. Spaceport is still under attack by all these ships. But this is time is fully upgraded. And it should be able to handle all these ships. And especially with the uh, gravity um, well here, it will uh, keep them here until they get destroyed. Just like that. Let's go back to the 6th or the ninth Fleet. I think they have finished. Okay, there's more. Let's get space. Okay, and we found um, this base here. Let's go to the event location. This is a star base on a Teladios planet. Um, there's no reason to keep a star base here. So I'll just go ahead and retire the base immediately. Now, it shows us that there is a beacon in D2, which is here. Let's see if we have a transport. Um, 
exploration ship nearby. I believe this one is going to explore this particular gas cloud because there was a beacon there, I believe. So let's zoom into it. I don't see anything interesting there. Let's queue the next mission. Do that. Okay. So back to the night fleet here. We are cleaning up the system. can build here. We can. So might as well build a few mining station here while we still can. Serve as a fueling um, when this is done I want to move it over here to protect the system a little bit while our um, So, the planet over here is under attack. It will be fine. Oh, well, maybe not so fine now, but it was uh, fine before. So, this one is still cleaning up some stuff. Well, let's, let's not worry about it too much here. And go ahead and move it to here too. The sixth fleet is now completely um, repaired. Not quite. This one is still need some fuel. Instead of waiting for it, I'll just go ahead and send these guys down here immediately. So I'd rather not having a um, spaceport in in our system. This guy, instead of doing that, let's go ahead and review. Okay, so now we have the fifth fleet here, I believe. Let's go refuel. Mining station. Build mining station here as well. Um, while we're waiting to con um, colonize and stuff. But the mining station would add a little bit extra defense, defensive measure. Okay, yeah, that pool base is actually getting blown up. That's fine. So ninth fleet is just a mess in here. And here comes our second fleet. Did just drop troops. unit. Let's send it back to refuel over at this location. And also let's go to our home base and build some more troops.
Okay. Let's go back to the Ninth Fleet and just watch this um, battle. So we should have control of this uh, of this planet soon. We do. And the first thing that we need to do, oh, and it destroyed um, that that base. Excellent. So let's take these guys. Let's go ahead and attack this facility. Also over here wow over here we need more troops and let's go ahead and garrison all those so that's at the planet martyrs 7 garrison them Then we'll build. Let's just build five of them for now. And go ahead and garrison these as well. Nine fleet. Let's focus on this. Um, oh no, that's not the nine fleet. That's near out. Um, the other colony. This is our ninth fleet here. Over here, let's build a small spaceport. Let's go back to um, this planet here. Fifth Fleet I'm confused. Take a fifth fleet and help out with this. Um capital ship. Except for the guys that need refuel. You refuel. You refuel. A spaceport should be able to handle the capital ship, I think. Especially since um, we might be able to blow it up before it runs. Nope. And let's see if we can track to see where it's running. We really can. So now it's just going to refuel. And find a base. So I will keep this one here. Um, give us scanning range over there so that's fine and even though we're trying to keep to a 30 minutes episode with all this excitement we're going to near the uh, 35 minutes mark I mean 45 minutes mark and let's look at the planet it's short a whole lot of things. So it'll be a while before we can finish building this um, spaceport. Okay. 
Okay, now talking about agents. Uh, agents. Um, send her back out again. Oh, we finished that. Um, quantum micro utilization. So, let's help out with high volume thrust. Now, let's take a look at research. Right, so, now, our research should have bonus on all three areas. Right, so, weapon research, energy research, and high tech research. Right. So, that should help quite a bit. Excellent. So let's call it an episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye bye.